What's up, YouTube? This is Boston Chris, and I'm back with a brand new video. Um, so in this one, I have um, one of my top ten books, along with a couple of trades that I picked up for cheaper, and um, I also have a couple of books that I forgot to show that I got during that sale um, that, that I was able to pick up. Um, so let me go ahead and get to the first things first. We got um, the uh, books from the sale. So, um, I was able to pick up in the sale, and I, I, I don't believe, like, I, I must have had this in a different spot, like, I was just, wasn't paying attention, but we got Kitty Pride and Wolverine, um, and I was able to pick up the full run of these for two bucks a piece, which is awesome. So, there's number two, number three, number four. Which this is a pretty cool cover right there. Number four. It's actually in really good shape too. Those uh black covers are really tough when it comes to um you know trying to keep them nice. Got number five right here. And then finally, issue number six. And um, you know, really, really nice condition all of these. So I was happy to add these to my collection. Um I've never read this before, I've seen it a bunch of times. And um, just decided to, you know, pull the trigger when I see it for a good deal. So, um, definitely excited to have that. Um, I'm trying to see if I can find my. Uh, I'm not sure where I put my marker. So when I mark off the, um, the book, but that's okay, because I, I don't need it necessarily right now. Um, I can just go ahead and mark off anyway. Um, so, moving on. Um, one of my local shops. Uh, had a um, local shop. It's it's kind of a weird way of saying it, but like um, so they had basically like a back issue, not sale. Um, is mostly like with trades and stuff like that. They just kind of um, if they've lingered around for too long, they pretty much just be like, all right, we'll give these off for like seventy five percent off, and a lot of people don't really um, you know end up picking them up. So it's, it's good stuff to to buy when you get a chance. So I was able to pick up Essential um, X-Men. This is volume number seven. Um, this covers issues number uh, let's see, 214 to 228. Annuals 10 and 11. Um, and the Fantastic Four versus the X-Men 1 through 4. Um, so really good stuff. And, um, you know, it, it's a thick book. I mean, it's just like... And, and I was able to pick this up um, for $5.99. So definitely cool to have. Um, and I would say keep an eye out for these because the Essentials... Are good things in, in terms of like if you have um, in really good condition um, some of the books that are um, you know more keys and stuff like that like the issues that I describe aren't necessarily I mean there's a couple of very very minor keys in there but it is good to have just because it's like all right so I can just go to like if I don't want to open up my um, you know my bags and boys and all that jazz I can just pick them up right here and just be like all right I want to read a whole big chunk of X-Men I got it right there um, next we have um, because I'm a big Scotty Young fan, um, this is, uh, Road to Oz, um, this is, uh, so part of the Wizard of Oz series that he did, um, a few years back, this is a nice hot cover, um, you know, so pretty good there, um, and I, I haven't read this, so I'm not sure if this is, um, prior to Wizard of Oz or not, but it collects, um, issues one through six, um, so, pretty cool stuff. And next we have, and these ones I was able to actually get for half off from another store called Newberry Comics. Um, this is, um, you know, Land of Oz, Marvel's Land of Oz. Um, and again, I, I don't know chronologically if this goes before or after that last book, but pretty cool stuff there. So, more Scotty Young. And then, finally, um, again, this was another um, five dollar purchase it was 9.99 i actually read it on my way home because i was like really excited to read it um the five marvel ronin it's a pretty good story it has um was it wolverine punisher um the incredible hulk psylocke and deadpool um i think the, that for me that my favorite story out of the whole thing was the uh the wolverine story that was pretty good um, and then the, the Hulk story was pretty cool too as well. Um, and then, you know, you also had, uh, the Deadpool story wasn't, 
I mean, I don't know. It was alright. Silent Story is pretty good, too. Um, the only thing I wish it was that they interconnected a little bit more with these stories. Um, you didn't see a lot of that in, in the book. But um, overall, though, it was pretty fun. Definitely, like, you know, a cool, um, you know, cool pickup. Um, you know, you never know if they'll do more stuff like this, because I'd like to see some other people, like, you know, maybe um, kind of like 1602, where you had a lot of different characters all kind of um, thrown in, um, you know, as far as, like, they had all these different people, and, um, you know, everybody had their own role, but it's just like everybody had just like, a, um, you know, just a different look and feel to them. But that's all right. So those are the um, trades and stuff. And uh, what I would say to anybody is that sometimes when you go to your shop, like check out, because sometimes trades tend to move not as quickly as you know the regular issues will or back issues and things like that. Um, and then also for trades, another great place to look is um, if you have like a Fye or something like that, um, or um, like Fye. Um, basically like any sort of like integrated um entertainment shop so if it's like you know a place that sells like music movies games and comics all together check those ones out because usually the trades will be cheaper over there and then if whenever in doubt um you know there's always trades um for sale at places like Barnes and noble they always have basically it's like you know buy one get one half off or buy two get one free something like that um they're always having sales like that and um a lot of times too you'll see them uh move to the bargain area because again sometimes they don't move or it's just it's not a popular um trade so people aren't really trying to pick up you know whatever it is you know so you can get some deals at like bonds and noble and things like that um on trades and things but um so on some one of my top 10 books so let me go ahead and refresh the list cause it's been a while since i got a book off my list here so, um, here we have the list. Dun, dun. So, um, that's my list for 2018 right here. Um, and so we have a book that came in from it. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, just unbox it right now. Uh, not even unbox it. Just kind of do the, uh, there we go. Just, it's not even a box. It's just a, you know, mail it. So I just cut the tape and go from there. So. There we go. Nice and quick. Alright. And for me, I always say, like, this part always freaks me out because I don't know. You, got, you hope that the people packed it right, but you never really full out know. So, it gets a little scary, but I see some. I mean, I, I can feel that this one's done pretty well. Um, so, that's good to have. You know, a little confidence boost coming back. All right. And so, yeah. Between two pieces of cardboard here, and I think the tape is loose enough. I can just pull it off. I don't have to follow the razor. So that's good. There we go. Um, don't mind me. Probably should have just had it unboxed already, just to show it off. But there we go. And there we go. Finally, actually, I don't have to do that. So now, also tape it to the out of piece of cardboard there. Any further ado, we have Thanos Quest number one and Thanos Quest book number two. 
So, uh, actually, better look at this way. Da -da. <laughs> uh, there we go. So definitely two that I'm happy to have. Um, this is Thanos' quest to pick up the um, the Infinity War. I'm uh, sorry, the Infinity Gems um, before I guess the, the Gauntlet. So pretty cool stuff here. Um, it's a book that I've actually thought about getting for a long time and um, just never did. And so now I'm actually happy to say that I own it and it's coming off the list. So go ahead and get my. It's gonna have to be a pen today, but da -da. and boom. So so far we got two off the list, making progress. Not you know, not going too fast. I guess I don't know. That's okay though, because I mean the way I look at it, you know, the the list is kind of just like a guideline of just you know books I really want to get for the year. So um, not trying to you know bust it out and be like, yeah, I finished my list before everybody. It's not a race. Just kind of having some fun collecting books. But, um, so, really happy to have these in my collection. I'm actually really excited to go ahead and get to read them. So, um, that's been my video. So with that, I'm going to get going. I want to thank you all for watching. Again, this has been Boston Chris. Everybody have a good one. I'm out.